everyone, I'm Rose and I'm from Minerva. Today's video will be a perfect pattern of fabric pairings uh, video all about children's wear. So before I begin, don't forget the, the links to all the fabrics and the patterns will be found in the description box. And if you have any comments or any questions, please feel free to pop them in the comment section. So let's begin with the first one. first fabric is a cotton lawn made from 100% cotton. It's a woven and non-stretched fabric and it feels exactly like a cotton lawn should do. It's a light and it's a, a very airy and floaty fabric and it's, it is perfect for children's wear. The print of this fabric as you can see is like a multi-coloured abstract design. It's very modern, uh, very bright and it has also a ton of personality in itself. We have it paired with a Simplicity 1453 sewing pattern. The 1453 uh, pattern is a little girl's top, dress, shorts, trousers and hat pattern, so pretty much every garment that a little girl will need. And with this fabric it will create a modern twist um, uh, to this classic and versatile uh, pattern. We have the illustration here for the 1453 pattern and as you can see A is a dress, B and C are tops, D and E are trousers, F is shorts and G is a hat. Notions for this pattern include thread, 7 half inch buttons for style A, 3 half inch buttons for B and C. It is classed as an intermediate pattern, but the shorts and top garments in this pattern are the easier garments to sew. So if you are a beginner or you're just getting into children's wear, then perhaps give those a, uh, those a go first. From a lawn fabric now to a cotton poplin, this is a Rose and Hubble cotton poplin fabric and it has a star and uh, constellation design. It's 100% cotton and as you can see it's made of a navy blue background with light blue and white uh, star constellations and a splattering of stars throughout the background. It's slightly thicker in feel than say the cotton lawn that we had earlier and it is a bit more crispus but it does hold that shape well so if you did have things that say had collars or cuffs it's going to work really well for that. I think this would look really sweet in, say, the, the, the waistcoat pattern, say, the matching shorts. And it's a great fun fabric for, say, kids that do have an interest in space and uh, in science. The back of the pattern for the 6398, and on the left side you can see the different styles that this uh, pattern makes. From a simple top to a long sleeve top, a waistcoat, skirt, trousers and shorts. This is a simple pattern and you don't need a lot of extras to make it. You will need linings for the vest and the jackets and the tops you'll need interfacing. There will be some buttons um, for the jackets and the vest and the top and for the skirts, pants and shorts you will need some elastic. You can check the quantities out on the back of this pattern and don't forget you can find all these on Minerva. Butterick 6202 is a dress and play suit pattern in different lengths and made in this cotton chambray fabric will make a lovely set of uh, dresses for the little ones. This fabric is made up of 100% cotton and the base fabric is very reminiscent of say like a soft denim but printed with these butterflies and these, uh, sli uh, these flowers it just brightens up the fabric and it gives it a little, little bit of colour. The 
front of the pattern for the Butterick B6202 shows you the different styles of this pattern. You can see that A, B and C are all dress patterns and uh, C is a long maxi style dress and D is a play suit pattern. This pattern is a very easy style for kids to wear. In the three different styles it is also very versatile. Now this fabric is quite a casual fabric with the butterfly print on the denim so when you make this pattern in this fabric it will make an easy going dress to play around in. But you could also use a less casual fabric and turn this pattern into a bridesmaid or flower girl's dress. Woven and it's non-stretch, it's quite a lightweight feeling fabric. It's a very easy fabric to sew with. Um, I think this combination of fabric and uh, pattern is a fantastic place to start for, say, beginners or novices that want to give um, children wear a go. It's not a complicated pattern, this fabric is very, very easy to sew with. So if you are um, a novice, try this, try this fabric and pattern pairing, and if you have any questions, pop them in the comments section below. Now this is a completely different fabric than what we've had before. It's a 100% cotton sweater stretch knit fabric and it's paired with the pattern Burda 9407. The Burda 9407 pattern is a jumper and hoodie pattern with a few different designs and even though it's on the pattern front it's boys it doesn't mean at all that it's just you can just make it for boys. It's an easy pattern to make, but you will need a few extra notions to make this pattern. So it's worth checking the back of the pattern just to make sure you've got all the bits and bobs that you need. Any questions, please do just pop them in the comment section below. Jumpers are a staple in any wardrobe for people of any ages. And this is, this is a really nice fabric to make them from. Obviously it's a knit fabric and as it's knit, its structure is quite large. So if you're making garments from this fabric, it's probably worth playing around with a few tester pieces just to make sure that you, you um, can get used to the fabric. Remember that it's also a stretch fabric with a stretch width of 15%. So as you can see there, it's quite, quite a nice little amount of stretch there. So you will need to, to use a stretch stitch when sewing and or an overlocker. This is the back of the pattern for the Burden 9407 and as you can see on the illustration there are three different styles there. A is sort of a plain sweater style, B has that larger neckband and C has the hood and a pocket at the front. There's a few different notions for each of these styles and they include buckles, a zip and some cord and you'll also need metal eyelets for all styles. B, three. Don't forget you can join the Minerva Craft Club and when you do you get a 10% discount upon signing up. And if you create a free account with us we'll also send you a discount code to use on your next order. When you do sign up with Minerva please do get involved with the community. We love to see all of your creations and you can also follow other sewers and see what they're up to as well. Any questions please feel free to mention them in the comments section below and we will get back to you and all the products mentioned in this video will be tagged in the description below. You can also follow Minerva for more videos and you'll find the follow button is just above this video. Whatever fabric you buy, do allow for a 10% shrinkage. When you do get your fabric, don't forget to pre-wash it all. This is just to allow for that shrinkage uh, before you cut out your pattern pieces. from garments for this next pattern and we also have two fabrics for this one. The first one is, is this ticking in beige, it's, uh, it's made from 100% cotton, it's, it's a, a lovely strong fabric and it's you know it's quite a classic fabric really. And the next we have this cotton drill fabric in white. These two fabrics are for the pattern Burda 6559. 
Whilst it is a tent sewing pattern for kids, there's by no reason why it couldn't be scaled up and made for a tent into, uh, for adults, um, as maybe a reading nook or say a hideaway. From the illustration of the bird of 6559, you can see the style of the tent and now it has these two curtain front door opening. It also has a window on the side and you will need a 140 inch zip, boning tape, bamboo poles and cushions. Tie-dye is a fantastic way of getting the kids involved with a project, um, you know, with adult supervision and it will really help bring out their creative side. Whereas the Tick and Fabric is a classic fabric that you can whip up this tent in no time, the cotton drill fabric you can think of as a completely blank canvas, you know. Even if you didn't dye this fabric, you could add pom-pom trims or maybe, you know, a, a fur edging or something just to make this tent, you know, really unique and your own. The cotton drill is a tough fabric, it can take a bit of rough handle. This does make it a perfect fabric to make this tent in. And as this particular one is white, it isn't an easy fabric to dye with or to paint on and you could really have some fun with different colours and designs. Not only could you dye or paint this fabric, but you could also use it as a base for applique or embroidery. Both of these are heavyweight fabrics and are really easy to sew with. Um, but because they are heavyweight, you need to make sure you've got the correct needle for your sewing machine. As both of these are, you know, quite strong fabrics, um, a jean needle that is, you know, is made for sewing strong denim would work really well for both of these. This next set is a fun combination. The pattern is by Fibre Mood and it's the Indigo Jumpsuit Pattern. This is paired with this washed cotton denim fabric here in dark blue. And the pattern sizes range from 2 to 14, so from uh, young kids to teenagers. Intermediate sew and you will need a few extra things like buttons and interfacing to make this pattern. This denim fabric is, is a nice strong fabric, it's more um, thicker in texture and feel than say the butterfly fabric, the denim fabric we had earlier. So it is perfect for a jumpsuit or playsuit that's going to see a lot of running around and playing in. These are the supplies you'll need to make this pattern. And as you can see you'll need your sewing thread iron-on interfacing and that will be a maximum of 50 centimetres and depending on what size you are doing um, you will need a different quantity and different sizes of buttons. The feel of this fabric is quite a soft fabric um, it, you know, obviously it's a denim so it, it can handle a bit of uh, wear and tear. It's not as harsh or as thick feeling as say, a, de a, a jean denim fabric would be, but it's still quite a strong, strong fabric as you can see. So it's non-stretch and paired with this pattern it will make a very modern and stylish looking garment. Here we have a rather fun and uh, a jazzy fabric. As you can see, it's a ghost printed fabric with uh, on a background of yellow. This is a vinyl fabric and it's made from 100% cotton and it's paired with the Fibre Mood River Jacket, which is, a, which is a coat pattern for kids. As it's a vinyl fabric, it is water resistant, but when sewing this jacket, you will need to make sure that you tape up the seams as you do with any, any vinyl. Um, it is a stiffer material, as you can see, it's quite crisp and crinkly, and it does have that shiny coating. 
vinyl is easy enough to sew with, but uh, do remember that it's hard to raise the holes uh, that the needle makes when sewing in a vinyl. But when you make this pattern, you'll end up with such a cute and adorable little jacket for the little people in your life. For this pattern, the supplies you need will be a matching thread, iron-on interface, and you can see there's a maximum of 45 centimetres, snaps, and that will depend on what uh, size you are making this garment for, double-sided tape, and that's for taping the seams to make sure that it, it is water resistant. You'll need a lining fabric, and of course this fabric here. And lastly we have the coat and jacket pattern called the Tanya 3906. It's a relaxed fit unlined uh, blazer jacket with pockets that are fitted into the diagonal seams. It is an intermediate sew and it can be made in a range of woven wool, structured knits and other soft coating materials. Wool blend fabric is made from 90% polyester and 10% wool. As it's made mostly from polyester, it is easier to sew, but don't forget that you know uh, wool will shrink in hot washes, so either wash it on a, a cool wash or spot clean. This fabric is, you know, a classic sort of Czech fabric. It has a sort of lighter red running through it and also like a dark gold to create that check. It's in burgundy here, but there is a few other colours available on the website. Um, it is a strong fabric, it's, you know, it's, perf it's perfect for coating um, and it doesn't actually fray that, that uh, easily. So you could get away with like a simple seam finish. This does make a perfect pairing for this pattern and it will be a really warm um, garment to wear. This is the information sheet for the 3906 Tanya coat. And from the top you can see that it's actually nicknamed a Cardi Blazer or a Coatagon. The illustration at the bottom shows you more of the structural elements of the garment. For example, the diagonal lines that um, hold the pockets and the collars at the top. Suggested fabrics are wool blend, which is what this fabric is. If you're going for more of a summer blazer, you could also use a linen, as that will be more lightweight than, say, a coating material. That's it for today's video on perfect patterns and fabric pairings for children, children's wear. I hope you've enjoyed all the fabrics that we've shown and the patterns as well. If you do have any questions, pop them in the comment section below and we will get back to you. And don't forget that all the links to all the fabrics and patterns can be found in the description box. Don't forget that you can follow Minerva for more videos. Uh, the follow button is just above this uh, video. And do share your mates with us on the Minerva website. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.